Have you ever wondered about the existence of a paradise on Earth, a place that defied the harsh realities of nature? Welcome to the world of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. This architectural marvel, shrouded in the mists of time, has long been celebrated as one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. A testament to human creativity and resilience, the Hanging Gardens were said to be a lush green oasis amidst a barren desert landscape, a true paradise in the heart of ancient Babylon. Yet, despite their fame, the existence of these gardens remains a topic of heated debate among historians. Some claim they were simply a figment of the ancient imagination, while others insist they were as real as the pyramids of Egypt. The mystery only deepens the allure of these gardens, making their story all the more captivating. Join us as we delve into the captivating history of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. The Hanging Gardens, a testament to human ingenuity and love, were reportedly built by an ancient king. This king, a man of immense power and grandeur, was none other than Nebuchadnezzar II, ruler of Babylon in the 6th century BC. His reign was marked by significant architectural advancements, but perhaps the most enchanting of all his projects were the Hanging Gardens. It's worth noting that Nebuchadnezzar didn't construct these gardens for mere spectacle or to flaunt his kingdom's wealth. Instead, he was driven by a more profound, more personal motive. It was love, a love for his wife, Queen Amethis, that inspired the creation of this architectural marvel. The story goes that Amethis, who hailed from Media, a region of mountains and lush greenery, found herself homesick in the flat, arid landscapes of Babylon. Longing for the verdant hills and cool breezes of her homeland, she struggled to find joy in the Babylonian terrains. A king, haunted by the sorrow of his queen, decided to replicate the green mountains of Media right in the heart of Babylon. Thus, the idea of the Hanging Gardens was born. A mountainous structure adorned with cascading plants and flowers, it was a magnificent sight to behold. It was a living, breathing piece of media, an oasis in the desert designed to soothe the homesick heart of a queen. But here's where the story takes an intriguing twist. Despite the vivid descriptions of the gardens from ancient texts, no concrete archaeological evidence has ever been found to substantiate the existence of such a structure in Babylon. Archaeologists and scholars have tirelessly scoured the ancient city looking for any trace of the gardens, but to no avail. This has led many to question whether the hanging gardens were just a figment of the ancient world's imagination. Yet no definitive archaeological evidence has been found to confirm this legendary tale. Is it possible that one of the world's seven wonders never actually existed? Or perhaps it lies buried, waiting to be discovered? Only time will tell. Imagine a lush garden suspended in the air in the middle of a desert. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Yet the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, were just that. An astonishing feat of engineering that defied the harsh realities of its surroundings. The design of these gardens was nothing short of spectacular. They weren't hanging in the conventional sense, but rather built upwards, tier upon tier. Each level was a terrace, rising above the one below, much like a colossal green wedding cake. The terraces were said to be about 75 feet high, equivalent to a modern seven-story building. The structure was made from baked brick and asphalt, forming a solid platform that could bear the immense weight of the soil and the plants. Laid atop each terrace was a layer of reeds, followed by a layer of bitumen, then two courses of baked brick bonded with plaster and finally a thick layer of lead to prevent the water from seeping through. The gardens boasted an impressive variety of trees, shrubs and flowers, creating a vibrant spectacle of colours and fragrances. It was like a slice of paradise in stark contrast to the surrounding desert landscape. But how did these gardens stay lush in arid conditions, you ask? The answer lies in the sophisticated irrigation system, a testament to the advanced engineering skills of the Babylonians. Water was drawn from the Euphrates River using a chain pump, a series of buckets on a looped chain powered by humans or animals. This water was then distributed throughout the gardens, ensuring every plant received its share of life-giving moisture. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon were more than just an aesthetic spectacle. 
They were a symbol of human ingenuity, a testament to the possibility of creating life where none should exist. The gardens were a beacon of green, defying the sand and the sun, a verdant defiance of the surrounding desert. This architectural marvel was a sight to behold, a green oasis amidst a barren desert. One of the most puzzling aspects of the hanging gardens is their sudden disappearance. Delving into this mystery is like stepping into a labyrinth of conjectures, each more intriguing than the last. Theories abound, each attempting to explain the garden's sudden vanishing act. One popular hypothesis postulates that the gardens were destroyed by earthquakes. The region was known to be seismically active, and it's plausible that a significant tremor could have caused the gardens to crumble, their verdant splendor swallowed by the earth. Another theory, equally compelling, points towards the slow, unrelenting hand of time. The hanging gardens, like all things, were not immune to the ravages of time. Gradual decay, perhaps exacerbated by neglect, might have led to their disappearance. Over the centuries, the once majestic terraces could have crumbled away, the vibrantly coloured blossoms and lush greenery withering until nothing remained of the gardens but a memory. Then there are those who believe that the gardens were destroyed by war. The region was a hotbed of conflict, with empires rising and falling like dominoes. It's conceivable that the gardens were raised during one of these conflicts, their beauty lost to the ruthless march of conquest and power. Lastly, there's the possibility that the gardens never existed at all. The lack of concrete archaeological evidence has led some to speculate that the hanging gardens were nothing more than a figment of ancient imagination, a poetic invention that captured the hearts and minds of generations. Each theory carries weight, yet none can be confirmed with absolute certainty. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon remain one of history's most tantalizing mysteries, a captivating enigma that continues to intrigue scholars and history enthusiasts alike. The gardens, once a symbol of grandeur, vanished as mysteriously as they appeared. And so we are left to wonder, to dream, and to seek answers in the whispers of the past. As we delve deeper into the mystery, we find ourselves drawn into the spellbinding allure of the ancient world, forever chasing the elusive shadow of the Hanging Gardens. Despite the lack of physical evidence, the Hanging Gardens live on in historical texts and the human imagination. They are a stubborn enigma of ancient history, refusing to be forgotten. The Gardens' tangible existence may elude us, but their descriptions, as preserved in various historical accounts, provide tantalizing glimpses into their grandeur. The Greek historian Diodorus Siculus, for instance, describes the gardens as a veritable paradise of terraces, exotic flora, and intricate irrigation systems. His accounts, along with those from other ancient scholars, paint a vivid picture of a place where nature and human ingenuity coalesced in harmony. Another Greek historian, Strabo, went into even more detail, describing the gardens as being laden with all manner of plants, flowers and trees, their beauty defying words. It's as if the very essence of nature had been captured, tamed and pruned to create a symphony of colours, scents and sensations. But where are these gardens? If they were as grand as these accounts suggest, why have they vanished without a trace? These are the questions that have haunted historians and archaeologists for centuries. Over the years, numerous archaeological expeditions have been undertaken to locate the remnants of these gardens. From the dusty plains of Babylon to the modern city of Mosul, excavation teams have sifted through layers of history in their quest for evidence. Yet, the elusive gardens continue to elude their grasp. Despite these challenges, the search for the hanging gardens of Babylon continues unabated. The tantalizing descriptions from ancient texts, coupled with the allure of uncovering one of the world's greatest historical mysteries, keep the flame of curiosity alive. In the end, whether the hanging gardens ever truly existed, or were merely a figment of ancient imaginations, remains a mystery. Yet, their enduring allure lies precisely in this uncertainty. They are a testament to the human spirit's ceaseless quest for knowledge and understanding, a symbol of our fascination with the unknown. The elusive hanging gardens continue to captivate us, their mystery adding to their allure. The hanging gardens of Babylon, whether real or imagined, have left an indelible mark on human history. 
Let's delve into the profound cultural, architectural, and historical significance of these gardens. These gardens, whether they sprouted from the fertile soil of reality or the equally fertile ground of imagination, have managed to embed themselves into the cultural consciousness of humanity. They've become a symbol of opulence, a testament to the grandeur of ancient civilizations and the epitome of human aspiration to create beauty that defies the natural world. The architectural implications of the Hanging Gardens, real or not, are immense. If they did exist, the engineering prowess required to construct such a marvel in a region that was, and still is, a desert is nothing short of awe-inspiring. The gardens are often depicted as a tiered structure, with lush greenery cascading down from each level, creating a green mountain in the heart of Babylon. This image has inspired countless architectural designs over the millennia, from terraced gardens of medieval castles to modern green buildings striving for sustainability. Historically, the Hanging Gardens have become a touchstone for scholars and enthusiasts of ancient civilizations. They represent a tangible link to our distant past, a window allowing us a glimpse of the splendor and sophistication of ancient Babylon. They've become a symbol of the city itself, as iconic as the Eiffel Tower is to Paris or the Great Wall to China. The Hanging Gardens have also had a significant impact on literature and the arts, featuring in countless poems, paintings and stories. They've become a metaphor for unattainable beauty, for dreams that are as grand as they are elusive. This cultural permeation testifies to the enduring fascination we have with these gardens, a fascination that speaks volumes about our collective longing for beauty, for mystery, and for a connection with our past. The Hanging Gardens stand as a testament to the limitless potential of human creativity and ambition. From ancient texts to modern pop culture, the Hanging Gardens continue to inspire awe and fascination. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, a marvel of the ancient world, have transcended time and still carry weight in the realm of contemporary culture. Literature, art, film and even video games have borrowed from the allure of these legendary gardens, weaving tales that echo the grandeur of the past. The Hanging Gardens have been a popular subject in the world of literature. For instance, they've been reimagined in the realm of science fiction. Consider the novel Snow Crash by Neil Stevenson, where a futuristic version of the Hanging Gardens serves as a symbol of opulence and power. In the epic fantasy world of A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. Martin, the Grand Palace Gardens of Highgarden are said to be inspired by the Hanging Gardens. In the realm of art, the Hanging Gardens have been depicted in countless paintings and sculptures. Their lush greenery and intricate design have been a source of inspiration for artists from the Renaissance era to the present day. These artistic interpretations often showcase the gardens in their full bloom, cascading down in a spectacle of verdant greenery, a sight that is as enchanting as it is mesmerizing. Films and TV shows too have paid homage to the Hanging Gardens. From historical dramas to fantasy epics, the gardens have often been recreated as a backdrop to signify opulence, mystery and the exotic. In the world of video games, the gardens have been featured as a playable civilization in games like Civilization and Age of Empires. These games allow players to construct their own version of the Hanging Gardens, providing a digital recreation of one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, despite their uncertain existence, have seeped into the fabric of our modern culture, a testament to their enduring allure. They continue to captivate us, stirring our imagination and fueling our fascination with the ancient world. Even today, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon remain one of the most enchanting wonders of the ancient world. So did the Hanging Gardens of Babylon truly exist? The truth may remain buried in the sands of time. As we delve into the enigmatic chronicles of ancient civilizations, we are often met with more questions than answers. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, is no exception. Despite the absence of concrete archaeological evidence, the allure of these mythical gardens persists, captivating our collective imagination for centuries. We have journeyed through the origins of the Hanging Gardens, attributed to the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar II in an attempt to appease his homesick wife. We've marveled 
at the stunning architectural design, a testament to the grandeur of ancient engineering and the mastery of irrigation techniques. We've pondered the mysterious disappearance of the gardens, a riddle that has eluded historians and archaeologists alike. The quest for evidence has led us on a fascinating journey through ancient texts and archaeological expeditions, weaving together a narrative that is as captivating as it is elusive. The absence of definitive proof does not diminish the intrigue, but rather fuels the fascination. After all, isn't the allure of the unknown one of the driving forces behind our quest for knowledge? The legacy of the Hanging Gardens endures, their influence permeating modern culture, from art and literature to architecture and film. They stand as a testament to human creativity and the desire to create beauty amidst the starkness of the desert. In the end, we are left with an enduring enigma, a tantalizing mystery that continues to captivate and inspire. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, real or not, have transcended the boundaries of time and space becoming a symbol of the extraordinary capabilities of ancient civilizations and the enduring allure of the unknown. Whether real or a figment of ancient imaginations, the Hanging Gardens of Babylon will continue to enchant us, a testament to the enduring allure of the unknown. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos. And as always, leave any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the comments section. See you in our next inspiring videos.